हाय फ्रेंड्स ग्रीटिंग फ्रॉम अनामा लेबोरेटरीज प्राइवेट लिमिटेड वी हैव बीन टेकिंग अ सीरीज ऑफ एम्पावरिंग यू इन क्लिनिकल केमिस्ट्री व्हेन वी डू दिस क्लिनिकल केमिस्ट्री टेस्टिंग नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स यू ऑल हैव डन मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग व्हिच वी डू इज यू यू ऑलवेज वंडर व्हेन यू वांट टू हैव अ मास्टर की बाय व्हिच यू कैन इफ इन केस अ डिफिकल्टी अराइज यू आर एबल टू एड्रेस दिस in number of cases we have described earlier also and now we would like to tell you again is that whenever you do a test you always get a factor in a clinical chemistry and what is that factor let me tell you friends the factor is real master key when you are doing a clinical chemistry test just for to bring your mental wavelength here is that when you are suppose you are doing sgot or sgpt you are taking a reagent system you are adding a sample to it that sample could be sometime a calibrator when you are running a calibrator and putting this assay mixture into an analyzer analyzer start giving you absorbance increase or decrease depending upon the chemistry when this chemistry shows the change in absorbance or if in case of end point it shows the absorbance alone it multiplies with the calibrator value and give you a factor every time whenever you have something gone wrong with your results your results are not acceptable always it will be this factor this factor is such a big master key if you can understand this what is it you can always come to know whether your quality of results are good or wrong these factors the entire series is to empower you look your results it can be because of high factor or because of low factor the results are directly proportional to the factor but what is the factor factor per se is nothing but a concentration of calibrator in terms of its units milligram percent or international units per liter or millimoles per liter whatever it is or instead of calibrator sometime in a product you have a synthetic standard provided irrespective whether it is standard whether it is calibrator this is what is used for calibrating the analyzer and this factor is nothing but when you run the test concentration divided by the absorbance which is observed or optical density which is observed by the analyzer for this calibrator or synthetic standard so absorbance divided by sorry concentration divided by the absorbance is what is called the factor this factor is fed into the instrument to memorize whenever you are doing the next day test directly the absorbance of sample whenever you do the test will be multiplied by this factor to get your results for any chance if the factor is low or factor is high your results will be low or high respectively so ensure your factor is right how do you ensure the factor is right you always keep a record of your factor now to understand this further your results are inversely proportional to the absorbance which you get or inversely proportional to the concentration of standard or calibrator which you have why it is so now let's understand whatever is the concentration of your calibrator will be giving you that much equivalent or proportional optical density while the biochemical reaction is completed so whatever you get concentration low your od will be low concentration is high od will be high and this will give you the factor which is inversely proportional to the absorbance and now important issue if your absorbance is low which is in the denominator the factor will be high and this high factor because of low concentration of calibrator value you see this a relationship between which is totally inverse concentration of calibrator is low hence absorbance is low the low cal value means high factor high factor means high results so your high results are actually related to low value in your calibrator 
and vice versa exactly the same if a low factor is there which is actually indicating a high value of your calibrator now you must wonder how can you get low calibrator value or a high calibrator value your calibrator is supposed to be a master document master material your master material cannot be high value cannot be of a low value there are three or four possibilities in which you have to judge your case is that if a value mentioned by a calibrator is let's say 100 units for some reason you have referred to a old technical literature of the previous lot which is of 90 now what happens is value of 90 you are treating as 100 or value of 100 you are treating as a 90 by referring on the wrong constant wrong literature that could be one reason is that you're having a wrong label reading of the value that could be one possibility why you get low or high calibrator value the second way in which you can get a low or a high calibrator value depending upon the case is if suppose your calibrator which is reconstituted if it is a synthetic and if it is let's say a live serum for example let's take a live serum first when you're taking live serum live serum once reconstituted as a multi cal has a limited life after that life the value is bound to decrease and you are considering not that life but you are still counting that as a value now your value of the calibrator from 100 has decreased to 85 and you are still counting as 100 this 85 has happened because the time specified for its stability is two days or seven days but you've gone after one month and your value has fallen down now value has fallen down hence absorbance has fallen down hence you will get a higher factor hence you will get a higher result also this is how the master key really works or vice versa okay now let's take other example in a calibrator which is a synthetic standard over a period of time what happens when you're using the standard while every day in and out morning you open keep it open day out day in and out you're using it in the evening you're capping it and keeping it in the refrigerator again next morning you're opening it and again you're using it it happens that for three four months you're constantly using this as a standard with the time the evaporation of the liquid which has happened in the standard vial resulting into concentration of the fact, uh, calibrator increasing this results into a higher absorbance hence lower factor that means your answer will start becoming lower and lower i hope you understood very clearly is that by contamination of reagent into the standard you can decrease the value of the standard or analyte in the multi cal or by exposing this the calibrator you can increase the concentration by evaporation in either case you have to take care that you constantly observe your factor and see that from the day one till the last day of your analysis of particular that kit your factor remains constant and if that factor is constant your results are bound to be all right if your results are all right if there is no other pre analytical error has happened your results are dependable once your results are dependable you can confidently report your results and this is what exactly you need your reports are dependable thank you very much friends for watching this video if in case you like it subscribe it and you want to watch more such videos press the bell icon thank you